This is Kim Hammer with your devotion taken from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 10. This is a situation that when you look at it, you wonder why in the world is this even mentioned in the Bible? A whole lot of activity going on with David, and yet here's just several verses that kind of tell about one account that David had with the king of Gath. Now, when David arrives and he comes, he does not yet have an army amassed. In fact, the scripture indicates to us that he went into the king's presence by himself, and all he had was the sword that he had taken from Goliath. But he goes into the presence of Gath, maybe to find a place that he could rest, or for whatever reason, we're not really given any indication. But when he arrives there, one of the servants realizes who he is and says to the king, he says, this is the one that they said, Saul has killed his thousands, but David has killed his tens, tens of thousands. And so we find immediately that David is put on the defense. Now he's there by himself. And some might wonder, well, why didn't David just, you know, utilize the strength of God, the power of God after all? Look at how many Philistines he had killed by himself. Why couldn't he just call on God in order to deliver him from the king? But David chose to go a different route. In fact, David showed one of his skill sets, and that was that he was a pretty good actor. you got to remember that David also was a poet. When he wrote the book of Psalms, he revealed to us a quality that God had given him as far as to the artistic side. Well, David used his drama skills in this case, and he acted like a crazy man. And the king of Gath said to the servant who brought him to him, do I not have enough madmen in my house already? Get this guy out of here. David kind of applied the principle, it's better to live to fight another day. And so he was removed from the presence of the king. It did give him a chance to kind of assess the situation without being revealed totally. But yet it reveals to us also that David had some wisdom about him that he did not have to put himself in a position to test God or to make himself vulnerable to man. And so he used wisdom in that he escaped from the situation using whatever was at his disposal, including, including his skill sets. On one occasion in the book of Luke chapter 9, verses 51 through 55, Jesus himself realized that he was in a town that he was unwelcomed and it was an unfriendly spirit that he had walked into. So he decided just to exit or to go around the town instead of dealing with the people in the town. He realized that it was not yet his appointed time, and so he didn't act like a crazy man. He didn't have to do that, but he was Jesus, the Son of God. But he did display wisdom that when he found himself in a situation that it was unnecessary to fight his way out of, he just resolved himself to avoid the situation and to leave it because he knew that he was determined to go to a greater destiny. David realized that he was determined to go to a greater destiny, and this was not the place where God wanted him to die. One of the things I think that we need to realize or to rely on in our relationship with God is knowing what we used to call in the medical field when I worked on the ambulance was fight or flight. You got to decide if this is the time that you need to fight or is it the time that you need to flight. And we need to pray to God for spiritual wisdom that when we're put in situations where perhaps even our life is physically threatened, that we have the sense about us because we're trusting and leaning on God that we do whatever we got to do to get out of that situation so that we can live to serve the Lord another day. God was not done with David, and as a result of it, he went on and God did great things with him. Jesus realized it was not his time to die, that he had a greater destiny. He avoided the situation. Whenever it is that we find ourselves in situations where maybe we need to make the decision between, is this where I need to die? And is this a hill I need to die on? Or is there a time that I need to fight for another day? Pray for God's for spiritual wisdom to give us the knowledge to know the difference.